and CA APM 10.2. New Team Center features help speed and simplify the triage of application issues. In this first of three videos, we'll show you how to manage your environment with the dashboard and how to navigate the map. This is the web view in Team Center login. Use your regular APM login credentials. Your initial login will take you to Team Center. You arrive at the Universes page. We'll explain more about Universes in Quick Guide 2. Click here to go to the dashboard. If we start at the top, on the right is where to log out. Next we have our list of Universes. Here are the web views that correspond with the clusters that we are working with. This is the message center. And here we have the button to toggle between live and historic mode. Expand the time range bar to change the time point that you are viewing data for. You can change the scale with the mouse wheel or touch gesture and you can drag the timeline. This is the timeline marker. The dashboard shows what the system looked like at the time indicated by the marker. You can drag this to the time that you want. You can also click on the time bar to move the marker. And here, we are going to move the time marker to 10.10 a.m. By default, Team Center groups components in this dashboard view by end user, application, and host name. We call this grouping a perspective, and here in the drop-down list, you can choose the other perspectives. The order of these attributes also defines a hierarchy of grouping in the map. Tiles show aggregated results for all components that share an attribute value. For example, this tile shows us the results for components with the end user attribute client. The status bars show us the results for the most seriously affected components in the group. The blue bar indicates the variance intensity for differential analysis. The bigger the bar, the greater the variation from normal behavior. The alert status bar shows us the highest alert warning for any component in the group. In this example, we can see that one of 22 danger alerts is at the highest level. The number of bars indicates the severity of the alert. The arrowhead indicates that the trend is downward. Yellow indicates the caution threshold has been broken. And green indicates that all alerts are below the caution threshold. We cannot see which individual component is producing this result in this view. We will drill in using the map. We can see the same information for the same time point in the map. Click here to go to the map. In the map, we can see the time slider is still in the same position at 10 past 10, and the map shows the components for this time point. The white area shows the active time range. The default time range is set to 8 minutes. Highlighting can show us all components in our map that share an attribute value. We can highlight any basic or custom attribute. To highlight components with an attribute, expand the highlighting bar. Click plus. Select the attribute name. Expand the condition box and select the values of that attribute we want to highlight. In this case, we are looking for components from the Java agent. If the component is inside a group and the group is collapsed, the group node will be highlighted. If we expand this group, we can see the individual components we are looking for. We can quickly fit the map to the screen using the buttons. We can fit highlighted nodes to the view. We can select the highlighted nodes. We can fit all nodes into the view. We can fit the selected nodes to the view. And we can fold up all expanded groups. You can drag the map. You can also drag the map overview. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel or touch gestures. Collapse the highlighting bar to have more working space on the map. The highlighting drop-down indicates the number of active highlights. Switch off the highlights with this checkbox and delete the highlighting condition with the trash can. Click a node to see information in the details panel. 
You can expand the details panel like this. The details panel shows alerts, status events, performance overview, basic attributes, and custom attributes. We hope you've enjoyed the quick guide for the APM Team Center dashboard and map. Check out our other quick guides to learn about the other new features in Team Center.